Hi, my name is Johanna, and for those of you who are new here, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. In the final mundane Monday for 2020, I wanted to talk about goals. And if that is of interest to you, please stay tuned. <music> So it's first thing Monday morning. I start work in about 15 minutes, so this will be pretty short. Um, I hope you guys had a great, relaxing weekend, or at least a good weekend. Um, if you celebrate Christmas, I hope you had a good Christmas. And as we're going into the new year, I wanted to talk about goals. Now I know you'll see a lot, if not already, um, uh, videos here on YouTube regarding goal setting and how to be more productive and more efficient and just it, it seems to be very cheerleady I don't know if there's another way to convey that for me but 2020 has definitely been a difficult year for a myriad of reasons and so I think as we go from one year to the next there is this inclination that it will be better and it should be bigger and you should be bolder and you should be more than you are now i guess to me that's always been the feeling but more so this year because of how difficult the year has been but for me goals can sometimes be counterproductive and maybe it's just the way that my brain works but i i see goals as sometimes unattainable and maybe it's because of the way that I set them or uh, that I don't give myself enough credit, that I don't give myself enough grace, that I don't set goals that are manageable or manage my expectations about the goals. I'm, I'm not sure what it is, but meeting a goal definitely is very rewarding, but falling short of the goal to me has always felt more punishing than just not doing anything. I don't know if any of this makes sense, but um, when I first started my channel, I wanted to set quarterly goals to make it more manageable for me, just knowing how I worked. And I didn't meet any of those goals. And instead of celebrating the small wins that I did have by way of growth and engagement and whatnot, all I could focus on was not making that arbitrary goal that I had set myself based on, I'm not even sure. And so for me, for this year and, and most years, what I'd like to work on more isn't so much setting goals to make myself a better person, but more to focus on being a better person. And it, perhaps it's semantics, perhaps it's the exact same thing, but I can't keep doing what I'm doing and not pay the price for it. I, I, I guess is the best way for me to say it. So I can push, 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 push. And I'm stubborn and willful. And a lot of times that's to the detriment of me. So I'll push my body and I'll push my emotions and I'll just push, push, push because I want the thing. I want to attain something. And in the end, all I do is take one step forward and four steps back because I make myself sick or I run myself ragged or I'm on an emotional roller coaster that not only affects me, but those around me. And so going into 2021, I'm going to focus more on trying to maintain an even keel, trying to be creative, trying to find my calm. And focus goal, I suppose, in this sense means the same thing, but I'm not going to set a, a bar because it fluctuates for me. And I think that's probably part of the problem is that my mental health my physical health it's it's like this and i could always count on the structure of my job to give me some sort of balance well that also is kind of like this um 
furloughs have been postponed for now, yay. Uh, but there is still a question going into potentially 2022 that the department that I work in as a system might start cutting jobs. And so that's still looming. And furloughs being on the back burner means they're not happening in January. So they're not happening next month, but they could happen in February. And so the uncertainty of that aspect of my life, coupled with the emotional roller coaster of my personal life, it just, it doesn't give me a solid foundation. And there are things that I can control and there are things that I can't. And so, if, if you're like me and setting goals has always seemed to be just always one fail after another, it could be that they're too big. It could be that you need to focus on foundational things like your mental wellness, your mental wellness or your health. It could be your job. I have been fortunate that I've been able to work from home, that there hasn't been any pay cuts, that I have been able to work. I know for so many people that it hasn't even been a thing. And so I'm just hoping that this little talk helps you think about what it is that you want for the new year. Now, I don't have any expectations when the bell rings on January 1st, 2021, that all of a sudden the year is just going to be amazing and fantastic. I am managing my expectations in that respect. I am cautiously optimistic and I'm hoping for the best, but I know that it's, it's going to be a little rough for a little longer. But even once we're past all the craziness of the pandemic, there is still the fallout of all of the emotional turmoil that it has brought for so many people in so many different ways. And so there will be that to, to deal with as well. I don't know if any of this makes sense. It's early, it's Monday, and I need coffee. I hope all of you have an amazing, New Year's. I wish you nothing but health, wellness, prosperity, success. I hope you guys learn, and this is something I need to learn as well, to give yourself a little credit, to give yourself a little grace, and to cut yourself some slack. Treat you the way that you treat other people. Because I know I'm, I am not a very good friend to me. Anyway, guys, that's it for me for now. And as always, Allah.